Then the veil, Demon murders his wife, Lady Rhea Royce. Rhaenyra and Sir Laenor Velaryon are betrothed, mollifying Lord Corley's. Understanding Laenor's homosexuality, Rhaenyra proposes fulfilling their duty to produce heirs, then take lovers. To restore his honor, Sir Criston proposes that he and Rhaenyra elope and marry under new identities. Rhaenyra rejects this and proposes continuing their sexual liaisons, upsetting Criston. Before leaving King's Landing, Sir Otto warns Queen Alicent that Rhaenyra becoming queen makes Alicent's children a threat to the crown. Alicent questions Criston about Rhaenyra and Demon, but Criston misunderstands and confesses to being Rhaenyra's lover. During the celebrations for Rhaenyra and Laenor, Alicent arrives late, interrupting Viserys' speech while wearing a green gown, the signal color for House Hightower's call to arms. Demon arrives and denies having murdered Rhea. Laenor's lover, Sir Joffrey Lonmouth, surmises Criston is Rhaenyra's paramour. When Joffrey suggests guarding the wedding couple's secrets, Criston perceives this as blackmail and brutally kills a dagger wielding Joffrey devastating Laenor and horrifying the guests. Rhaenyra and Laenor are privately wed late that night. Viserys collapses at the end of the ceremony. Meanwhile, Alicent intervenes as Criston is about to commit suicide. 